What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Houston RV Show and we are taking a look at some really cool Alliance Avenue fifth wheels. We're over here at the Ron Hoover booth and yeah, a lot of new floor plans, a lot of really innovative floor plans have come out in the last year from the folks over at Alliance. This Avenue is a really, really cool example of that. We're gonna take a closer look at it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,395 pounds, cargo capacity of 1,000, I'm sorry, 2,673 pounds, and it's gonna have an unloaded weight of 11,662 pounds. It's gonna ride on twin 6,000 pound axles. So the setup here is pretty good. Now this specific unit is a relatively long fifth wheel and you'll see that once we get inside you can see the overall floor plan. Um, the weight of this unit, you know, being again 14,395 pounds isn't crazy heavy, but my best recommendation for towing something like this would be at least a single rear wheel one ton truck. Um, with the right payload package. There are one tons that don't have enough payload to actually haul something like this. You're probably gonna have in the realm of about 2,500 pounds worth of pin weight on the back of your vehicle whenever it's completely loaded up and ready to go. I'd say between 2,000 and 2,500 pounds. So you're definitely gonna wanna have a truck that has that, plus about 900 to 1,000 pounds on top of that to support the hitch, the family inside of the vehicle, all the supplies you bring with you. So a one ton single rear wheel truck with approximately 3,500, 4,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity should be able to handle something like this without much of a problem okay so we're going to start inside of this avenue check out the inside then come back out and see what the outside's all about this has the new lippert solid step xf steps have a really narrow side rail here which gives you a really wide entry exit step this is the 36 brm asdell sidewall construction basically that composite sidewall so you don't have to deal with delamination rot mildew stuff like that all right, let's quickly pan around here so you can see what the inside's about. And then we'll start from the front and work our way to the back. All right, so we are working our way up to the upper deck. Very cool, this might flip up. So this doesn't flip up. On the Paradigms, this would flip up, but on the Avenue, this specific one, it doesn't. Got a lot of drawers down here. Does not utilize a magnetic latch on this one. You have some blinds up here as well. Let's see, they're kind of wrapped around. Oh good, nice blackout blinds that are included on this unit. So it is prepped for your TV up here, of course. Very, very light neutral tones for the interior. King size bed. Taking a look inside of the front area here. It is prepped for a washer dryer. So the dryer would go on this side, the washer would go on this side over here. Nice size closet space, beautifully finished out. USB charging, power supplies over here. Nice Coleman mock air conditioning system up top. You have a barn style sliding door here, plus storage under the bed. Very cool. Taking a look inside of the bathroom. Nice thermofoil countertop under mount stainless steel basin sink. I like them when they're compact like that because it gives you more space around the outside of the sink. Nice medicine cabinet in here as well. Very, very similar shower to what we have in our fifth wheel, but it's very functional, has a nice cornered seat. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Lots of cabinetry in here also. Very cool. Max air vent already installed. Stepping down into the kitchen slash living room area. Nice countertops. Let's go over the price real quick. Has an MSRP of 97,953. Discounted 22,000. Sale price $76,000. Available at Ron Hoover. Have a backlit area right here. I think the light strip may have detached from the top right there. Very, very easy to fix though. USB connections over here. Let's look inside of here. Very, very nice large pantry space. Then you got more storage up top, as well as cabinetry here. More cabinets over here. I love this entire setup right here. Tons of prep space on each side of the three burner stove oven combination. 
have your refrigerator in place and this is a Furion refrigerator and then your freezer on this side beautiful upgraded sink fixture nice single basin stainless steel sink lots of storage underneath here as well you got your drawers cabinetry and everything else next to your stove 30 inch residential microwave more cabinetry surrounding it love drawers love seeing drawers in kitchens on rvs oh just noticed it has a flush floor system here as well in the kitchen you got some more storage over here and another cabinet there huge bank of windows check this out huge windows atrium window over here You have this really cool little ottoman also kind of built in down here. So this flips up so you have storage, you can put comforters, things like that here. And it can also kind of slide out of the way. You could prop it up in front of your feet over here. So you have a really great place to prop your feet if you're not using the theater style seating that is. Two of your dinette tables, freestanding table right here. Solid surface countertops all throughout the kitchen. You have your TV mounted on the wall at an angle and it swivels and rotates and you got storage space behind it as well or you can just recess the TV into that space. Nice panoramic fireplace. You have your theater system over here as well. Lots of cabinetry. But this unit is probably best known for what's in there. Real quick, we have our theater style seating. Again, just check out the windows in this unit. A lot of light can come in through here. So through here would be your very, very unique bunkhouse. This actually resembles more of a bunk bed than a traditional bunkhouse. So you got this huge space right here, complete with all sorts of storage compartments, racks, things to secure stuff. You have a ladder that takes you up here into your upper bunk bed with an equal amount of impressive storage up here, plus a fan system up here and air conditioning vents. And then you have a barn style door here which closes off the room and another one right here for this space which is your second half bath so very cool or at least your half bath not your second half bath so you have a bath and a half in this unit you have a toilet back here porcelain foot flush toilet nice thermofoil countertop under mount stainless steel sink and then you have a mirror above it which is really cool it's not an actual medicine cabinet though because it doesn't open very cool Anyways, let's, uh, let's check out the outside of this unit and see what it's all about. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back. This has the Kurt Rota Flex pin box up front. Basically rubber bushing right here that dampens movement, shock vibration from the truck to the trailer or the trailer to the truck. Front basement storage. This has the LCI ground control electronic leveling system, and this is the six-point electronic leveling system. Spot for 30-pound propane can on this side as well as one on the other side. Nice thick baggage doors here. Here's your front basement storage area. You have TV cable hookups here as well if you want to bring a TV out here and do some tailgating. Motion controlled or motion detecting lights. Two inch bath deck as well. Again, your solid step XF system. This is rated for full-time living or warranted for full-time living. Looking underneath, this has a 10 inch I-beam frame that has some structural reinforcements there below it to support the suspension plus a rack and pinion slide system on this side. This is gonna have Castle Rock tires as well as the Cree 3000 suspension system. Coming around back, nice little outdoor storage, little micro refrigerator back here, power outlet right there, and a big drop door to cover all that up. LED lighting, ladder to get you on the roof, it is rated for towing. You have a four-way connector right here as well as a two-inch receiver. And then you have a storage hatch here on the bottom, which we may be able to look into. Actually, you have a huge storage area back here. You could easily fit like three electric folding bikes back here. That is really, really cool. Coming around. Pretty much a big blank wall right here big window here this is the inside or the outside of your bunkhouse area sewer connections and you're gonna have a sewer hose storage area right there 
since you don't have a bumper on the back. Let's try to squeeze through here. 50 amp connection outside of your furnace, outside of your water heater. And another thick baggage door on strut arms. You have your Nautilus wet bay panel right here for all your water connections. This is a wide body frame as well. Schwintech slide up top. And then this is where your other 30 pound propane can would go and your auto leveling controls in here. Very, very cool fifth wheel. Relatively lightweight for what's inside of it and what it includes. Uh, you can definitely tell where they shave some cost off versus like the Alliance. One of those things is like on an Alliance in some of the avenues you have magnetic holds for drawers. This one has standard push holds. Um, the shower surround is a little bit fancier. And you can definitely tell where there's some cost differences in terms of materials between the Alliance Avenue and the Paradigm. The Paradigm has a much nicer uh, shower surround on the inside. It's much more custom. They have the nice poured uh, epoxy countertops versus the thermofoil for the bathrooms in here. Um, you have the new macerating toilet that I've seen on a lot of them versus this has a standard porcelain foot flush toilet. Uh, the magnetic holds on the Paradigm versus the standard push style holds on here. None of them are like crazy important. That's the key. All the structural stuff is pretty much the same, which is really nice. And then of course on the Paradigm, you get a drop frame, whereas this has a solid I-beam frame. But still a very cool product, very good use of space. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.